and welcome to episode 120 of TC Weekly, the PM edition. On today's episode for you, we've got what's happening now. We went to the business of Miss B, the specialty cake lady. And she's, we're going to show you all the different cakes and pies and goodies, along with entrees that she specializes in. And on today's segment of Podception, we tackle what we're listening to now. So sit back, enjoy the show. Thank you for joining us here on What's Happening Now. Tonight is a delicious treat for you, only we are going to do something different. Sadly, Barbara was unable to join us here tonight, so instead I have my very special partner, Rod. <laughs> And we have some great facts of what Barbara does. She is a chef. Not only does she cook home-cooked meals, but also pastry, brownies, cookies, and cakes. Yes, I have had the pleasure of meeting Barbara Ross and tasting those fantastic meals and pastries myself. She is located right here in downtown Green Bay. And you can also find her on Facebook. Look up. Barbara Ross or Miss B, the specialty cake lady. And believe me, once you taste them, once you taste those goodies, you'll keep coming back for more. I actually went on her Facebook and I saw a couple of her cakes and they were delicious. I saw one of the cakes and she actually made the flowers on top all on her own and it looked amazing. And then I found the Skittles Poke Cake. It was pretty sweet. Well, the only thing I could see is that it had the Kit Kats around the cake, as I believe the border, I guess. And then I just saw the Skittles on the top. So that would pretty much solve up all my candy solutions that I want. <laughs> um, anything else, Brad? Peach Cobblers. Rice pudding, scones. Everybody likes scones. Um, <laughs> do I, but I heard her mention it. <laughs> we all love scones. Pineapple upside down cakes, muffins, biscuits. She does breakfasts, dinners, lunches, parties, weddings. Yeah, let's Oh, let's go. That's Barbara Ross, Miss B, the specialty cake lady. Look her up on Facebook once again. Even though she wasn't able to join us, we are happy to know that we can come to her if we are hungry and how to make pastry and cakes. Wedding cakes are included. Hopefully, we will be able to meet her in the future and have some of her delicious treats. Thank you for joining us again. This is What's Happening Now. I'm Tia, and I have my partner Rod with me. Have a good night. What you listening to? Seriously, what you listening to? What you listening to? What you listening to? What are you talking to me? What you listening to? I listen to Dr. Dog, a band called Dr. Dog, uh, record called B Room, <coughs> one of my favorite bands. Uh, alternative indie rock, I guess, if you have to label them. They're out of Philly. Um, layered, uh, you know, really great harmonies, amazing, you know, guitars. But really layered, like they'll do multiple guitars, uh, rhythm, shakers, horns, uh, and they've just got, I think, a lot of depth in their sound. And then their lyrics are really sort of emotive. Like I feel like I'm listening to people who are actually on the planet having similar human experiences to me. Uh, sort of kind of getting at that human experience, like what... So they're relatable? Yeah, in that way, emo emotionally, really big time. And I just, like, it's one of the things I love about music. I marvel at people's ability to take 
aspects of our experience and somehow set them to music and and use words that aren't like you know um direct and obvious but sort of metaphorical i guess poetic um that's how you're supposed to write music technically <laughs> i mean if you, if you can't be metaphorical and poetic with your lyrics then you shouldn't be writing lyrics because <laughs> you only have Probably so much true. you can say in the middle of the song so it's supposed to be that way yeah well <coughs> i don't know I, but i don't find that many people that can do it maybe that's it yeah or that um, resonate with me specifically I especially mean. lately they tend to slack on that sometimes yeah. How about you? Uh, what are you listening to? Uh, lately, for the last year, I've had just the same CD on in my car. Really? Yeah. It's a 30 Seconds to Mars CD. Okay. Is that the band? Yep. Okay. And I don't know. I've just been too lazy to change it. <laughs> what are What are um, they like though? Like uh, they're like uh, yeah, they're like just a straight up like alternative rock. Okay. They're a little more. I'm not really sure how to describe it because they're different than other alternative rock. I know, alternative rock, and any label just becomes, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, singer-songwriter. It's like, yeah. okay, what the hell does that mean? But it's basically by the actor Jared Leto. He's the one who made oh, the band. No kidding. Yeah. And I think it's like I think it's like their third album that I have in my car. I don't remember. I didn't keep track because it's the only album of theirs I have. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then otherwise, other than that, when I'm on my computer doing homework, if I'm at school, I just listen to random stuff on like Pandora. Okay. I have like a David Bowie channel. Yeah. Like a Lindsey Sterling channel, a Rob Stellar channel. Okay. Which is just random stuff. That's and then, cool. Uh, otherwise, I just turn on iTunes because I have all these random downloads from Andrew Hung. So I did an Andrew Hung channel for the first internet broadcasting. <laughs> I just have like all of his stuff, all of his funny stuff, all of his serious stuff, and he's he does every single genre basically. Okay. And just like makes an album of one genre and then an album of another genre. Wow. And he keeps stuff clean too, so it's really fun listening to him rap. Because <laughs> he keeps it clean funny. and it's very poetic. But yeah, another guy I've been listening to, um, his name is Joshua Tillman, but he his last record he made under the moniker Father John Misty. And uh, it's like, name. yeah, the, t the, the cover art is amazing and ridiculous. Um, cartoony. Um, re he's really interesting and intelligent and um, but again killer musicians layers seemingly running through multiple genres you know there's pedal steels and like um, a multitude of instruments um, and really sort of smart poignant writing about a lot of uh, you know some of its uh, cultural American or like specific to Laurel Canyon mm -hmm. and the hills of LA where it's where he's been living. Wait for it. So Andrew, what do you think? What are, what are you listening to, huh? Huh, buddy? Yeah. Hey guys, sorry I couldn't be there today. So what am I listening to lately? Well, I got my phone right here and for starters I'm gonna see what I've been listening to a lot recently. On my iTunes. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Blink-182. They're my favorite band. Probably always will be. I've been listening to their older stuff from, you know, late 90s, early 2000s. Um, I've been listening to New Found Glory. Also a pop punk band. Um, their older stuff also. Their new stuff I'm not too big of a fan of. Um, but I like their older stuff. been listening to... Some Drake in the hip hop world. Also, in the, also in the hip hop world, I have been listening to uh, Tupac and Biggie from the uh, golden age of hip hop, if you will. Big fans of those guys. Um, let's see. Thirty Seconds to Mars. I've been listening to them. Um, Lincoln Park. Also been listening to them. They just did a tour recently that I missed, which I'm kind of upset about. That's that's really all I can think of right off the top of my head. That's who I've been listening to lately. So we'll send it back to you guys. 30 watch. seconds on the clock. Random topic. Generator says chickens. What? Chickens. Go, Luke. Eggs. They Feathers. Them. They have them. They wake people up because they're jerks like that. Some of them are. The cocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, others are the hens. They have beaks. People eat them. People eat their eggs. Their eggs are food and possibly babies. They eat grain. And or grasses. And rocks. Bugs. We're done.
Thank you for watching this episode of TC Weekly. You can find us again next episode. Thank you for watching.